Hi everyone, it's Elisa Ablett here again with another video for you um, using the May Art Sampler Box for Two Sisters Art. So um, this is what we'll be making. It's uh, just showing you how you can use um, stencils um, and stenciling with your um, alcohol inks and also um, using the straw and um, a drawing on top of your alcohol uh, inks as well. So um, I've just created this um, art journal. It's just going to go into my art journal page. Um, just can be stuck in there and uh, we can add a quote afterwards as well. So what you'll need is your alcohol inks, your Yupo or Yupo paper, um, the stencil that you might want to use, Uh, and I've also pre-put in um, the blend alcohol blending solution in this bottle. And, and I've popped some in my paint palette tray as well. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is um, add some background colour uh, to our page. We're just going to uh, start with um, the pink. Add some blending solution. And we're just going to um, shake well for the pearl ones. You can hear the ball rolling around in there. That's your um, the balls there to help you get the the shimmery powder off the bottom of your alcohol ink. So we're just going to add a little bit of our purple to the background. I think this one that I um, would like to do this time, I want to add some more, definitely some more pink. I'm going to try and um, leave down the bottom for our, our green and we're going to do the green after. So on the sample you can see the green came up but I think I'd like to leave um, a little bit more white space there next time so uh, you can see the um, awesome lovely colour green. Now uh, this one is a ranger pool coloured one. I just wanted to add one more colour uh, to my background. And I had this colour in my uh, stash. So we're making um, some nice uh, background colours there. I'd like to take the colour all the way through to the side. Okay, that's looking pretty good at the moment. Alright, so we're just going to hit it with a very light bit of heat. And make sure you're working in a, a well ventilated room. I'm um, sure you all know by now that alcohol inks can give you um, some terrible vapours. We're not going to heat this too much, I just want it to dry quite quickly. Getting some nice shimmer there. I'm just going to add a little bit more alcohol inks to this middle section where my, oh, sorry, the alcohol blending solution just to the middle there. And that's just where our uh, dandelions are going to sit. So if we can make it a little lighter, you might be able to see them a little better. We can grab one of our um, Q tips. Or cotton buds and soak up some of the color I'm 
another great way of adding what they call cells to your um, background is to dip a q-tip into a little bit of your solution and you can add um, some mark making into your background We'll just add some more pink and I think a little bit of blue of the pool color just to break it up a bit okay so we'll come back in a moment when it's completely dry. Okay, everyone, uh, it's pretty much dry now. So what I've done is I've just laid the stencil that I want to use over the top of um, my design. And just using a Q-tip or earbud or cotton bud, I'm just going to dip it into some of the icicle rubbing um, bot, uh, antiseptic or alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Uh, or if you don't have any of the icicle, just in a little bit of your blending solution. So you've, it's a nice wet Q-tip. And what we're going to do is just smooth away the colour through the stencil. Now, this is where this little bottle comes in. It's got a little bit of um, blending solution. So what you want to do is um, just to cover a little bit of more larger area and pre-prepare where you're going to be wiping away, just add a little bit of your blending solution up there. And um, just be patient with it. I chose a little bit more intricate design this time. The last ones were um, are just a little smaller. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just... Uh, Pause the video and keep working. Okay, so we're back again. Um, um, I know what you're going to probably say, that we could have used uh, something like alcohol lift ink uh, to do this and a stamp, and it probably would have taken less time. But this is just a technique where you're using what you have on hand um, and who doesn't have a stencils at home? Lots of different stencils. You can make your own. Um, you can use something from around the house. Um, it's just not everyone has alcohol lift ink and it's a different sort of technique using your stencils as well. So something different from your stash. So what we're going to do is just lift that up now. And what we have is just a beautiful stenciled image. And you can wipe your stencil off afterwards with a baby wipe and um, a little bit of the rubbing alcohol and that'll clean right up. Okay, so uh, we're just going to wait for this to dry just a little bit more. And then we're going to add our green in. And for that, we're going to our grass. So for that, you'll need your green if you have a green. If not, um, we can use other colours. And what we're going to do is just pop it on the bottom and we're going to use a straw. Uh, to blow our grass and our tendrils up and this is going to um, be the basis for our uh, garden, our stencil garden. So it's almost dry now and I'm really rather in love with um, how this one turned out. 
so I believe this um, a stencil if you're wondering it is a paper artsy stencil I believe it's a Tracy Scott um, designed uh, stencil from paper artsy and they're um, paper artsy uh, in United uh, Kingdom or England okay so what we're going to do that's dry enough we're just going to pop a bit of the green along this white bottom and while it's sort of moving we're just going to tip it up a bit and blow Perfect. Don't want too much more than that. In fact, if you really wanted to, you could add just a little bit of the um, the blue just in this area down here. You can move that around with your cotton bud and that will just fill in those little white gaps. Lovely, so now our next step, unfortunately, is just to wait a little bit more. Okay, so we're back again. It's all completely dry and now we're ready to um, pop our garden in. The first thing we're going to do, and again, if you don't have the rubbing alcohol, um, use your um, blending solution. We just wanna pop a bit on our craft mat and get your little ruler and this is how we're going to make our um, uh, stems for our dandelion if you don't like straight stems that's okay um, just use a, a, a cotton bud to drag your um, alcohol uh, rubbing alcohol down so what we're going to do we're going to have three stems so we'll pop one and what we'll just dab the side of your ruler into the rubbing alcohol and this is just going to mark where we're going to have our dandelions it's just clearing away um, some of the color there we go and again, a baby wipe is quite good for cleaning up all of those messes. Now, while we're here, just going to take you through a very quick way of drawing a dandelion. First of all, we're going to have our stem. Again, you don't have to have it straight. You could have a curved one. Um, but we're going to make... A little cross up the top like that and then you fill in in the gaps with your larger stems and then you come in again with your smaller stems and then if you wanted to you could even go in just a tad bit smaller and make some smaller inner you know ones I probably wouldn't do too much more than that and then on the ends here we're going to make a like a claw or a fork shape I'll show you the shape here so it starts with a U and then a smaller U on the inside and that just goes on the end of your little lines and they don't have to be perfect And you go all the way around now to make in my um, sample I've made a few of my little dandelions jump away so that's pretty easy to do uh, we're just going to you pop them on a little stick and you can have them going in different directions obviously um, there's going to be people with a lot steadier hand than I am and to finish it all off, I actually used a white 
fine Posca marker um, or a paint marker. You can use um, your Posca pen. I think Pilot have a white one as well. Or you can use your white Uniball um, gel pen as well. Okay, so that's just, you do that all the way around. Um, and it's exactly the same for your one that's on a bit of an angle. If you don't have a steady hand, get yourself a little ruler and you can add nice, precise little um, lines all um, even and good looking. Okay, so we should be able to go back to our project. Just needs a little bit more drying time. In fact, we could probably use a, I'd probably even fan it out a bit. Or if you um, have one of these in your kit, I'd use one of those. Hi everyone, we're back again. So we're just finishing off our um, dandelions and we were using this just dipped in a little bit of the rubbing alcohol just to create where our dandelions are going to be but now it's dry we can add our dandelion stems in if you're a confident drawer and you don't need the ruler or you want to make a curved one that is completely okay Okay, so we've got our stems in. And now we are making our crosses up the top. Okay. So I'm using um, an inch, so I just sit it in the middle and draw our lines so that they're all even. That's for the large ones. And then on the inside ones, I take it down to about half an inch. Now if you're quite confident drawer, you can just whack them in like that. They don't have to be exactly a piece. Okay. And now we're just going to put our little hook on the ends. This is probably the most tedious part of the design. And if you feel like they need just some little fillers, just pop them in where you have a spot. Okay, I think that's about enough for me. And then I'm going to um, have some flyaways. Might even have one a bit closer. Okay, so while we work on the other two dandelions, um, before we start work on them, I should say, I'm just going to take you through, I do um, a little bit of scribbly writing coming through on the stems. So I'll just show you how I do that and then we'll take a pause in the video and we'll come back when everything's finished. So scribbly writing, I think of really nice words like lovely and I just make them so that you can't probably even tell what it says. 
Um, that's the ticket to scribbly writing, I think. So friends is another one. Lovely, um, love, laugh. Um, anything really, um, because no one's. Okay, everyone. Um, this is just to finish off the um, the tutorial, the video tutorial. So what we've done is we've used a white Posca pen. Um, or you could even use a correction pen and dotted each of the end of the forks on your dandelions and I've also brought up along the stem as well just to make it stand out a little bit and you're pretty much done I'm just going to add my quote and um, that's just going to go into my art journal page into my art journal book uh, you could uh, once it's stuck in there just give it a bit of a border Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.